our paper is devoted to investigation of soliton motion in a superfluid Fermi liquid near the unitarity point near Feshbach resonance. I believe that this is interesting by two reasons. First of all, it gives you a new example of soliton dynamics in a very general system with strong interaction. And dynamic of soliton, as we know, is quite a non-trivial process because of the topological nature of this excitation. Second uh, important uh, reason is uh, that uh, uh, this experiment can give uh, uh, some insight in behavior of uh, this uh, quite non-trivial Fermi liquid on small distances, on interatomic distances actually, while previous experiments gave information mainly on the long distance behavior. Thank you. In this article, we address the problem of uh, soliton decay and soliton collisions. From gross pitayevsky theory, we know that in, in Bose-Einstein condensates, uh, soliton exists with speeds up to the sound velocity and that collisions are elastic. In this paper, we address the corresponding problem for Fermi superfluids uh, by solving the bogolubov degen equations. We find that solitons do not exist for velocities above the pair breaking velocity and that collisions become inelastic away from the BEC limit. This is the soliton energy as a function of velocity for various values of 1 over kFa. The green line shows the energy dispersion for 1 over kFa equals 1. Here we reproduce the gross Pitesky results that soliton solutions exist up to the sound speed. The red line shows the energy dispersion at unitarity. Here the energy dispersion truncates at a finite value of energy just below the pair breaking speed shown by the vertical red line. For 1 over kFa equals minus 0.5 on the BCS side of the resonance, the energy dispersion again truncates just below the pair breaking speed shown by the vertical blue line, which is smaller than the corresponding value at unitarity. If the soliton is accelerated beyond its maximum velocity, it will decay. The soliton may be accelerated by an external potential or by colliding with another soliton. Here is an example. The uh, solitons are stationary initially and equidistant from the trap center. They are accelerated by the trapping potential and they collide. When they collide, they radiate energy as sound and they emerge from the collision with a larger speed. This means that they come at rest at a larger displacement from the trap center. If we increase the initial displacement, the energy lost in the collision is such that the energy of each soliton after the collision is less than the minimum energy given by the energy dispersion. Hence, the solitons are destroyed by the collision.